Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm just gonna give you a little bit of a hair update and a little bit of a life update as well. As you may be aware, that I have been talking about my hair falling out quite a bit in my most recent videos. And so I just wanna address that. So basically my hair is falling out or was falling out. About two months ago, I noticed that there was like big clumps of hair coming out. It was two weeks in a row. So like I had like a handful of hair one week and then a handful of hair another week. And ever since then it's been subsiding. So I did do my hair today. As you can see, I did this nice little protective style. I recorded it so it should be up on my channel soon. And I saved the amount of hair that came out of my hair this week from wash day. So as you can see, it's a much smaller ball than what you probably have seen in my videos. Cause I have been watching my videos back as well and realizing that a lot of hair was coming out compared to what I get now. So this is how much hair came out from all the sections. That's not that much. My hair's really long as well. A lot of fallout. It's quite a lot of hair. Interesting. And this is how much hair came out from my pre poo routine. Everyone's different, but this is how much some people get for a week. And this has only been three days. Yeah. Can you see, it's just looking really thin. I've got a little bit of breakage there. Can you see? You see how thick it is? And then how thin it gets? Look at that. Thick to thin, like what? It's the worst I've seen my hair like this. Strange. It's definitely thinner though. Definitely, definitely thinner, but it's okay. It's fine, it's fine. It is what it is. So just a little bit of insight into my hair loss. I do feel like it's been happening for a long time and I had a very big bout of hair loss a few months ago when I was, I had a, like a depressive moment. <laughs> it happened to me when I had my firstborn as well. The depression made my hair fall out. I'm not too worried about my hair loss. I'm not too bummed out about it either because I know it's just hair and it's just gonna grow back anyway. So yeah, it's all part of the journey. I feel like I've been losing hair since about September last year. And I can only really trace it back to being depressed during that time. So it was around my birthday times maybe August where I was trying to lose weight for my birthday and I was quite low, quite depressed and quite anxious about it all. There is actually a vlog on my channel where I do talk about my issues. So yeah, around that time I was feeling really low, a bit like how I'm feeling now. So I assume <laughs> that my hair, my hair loss was due to my anxiety and my depression. And I also was on a weight loss journey. I am on a weight loss journey still. It's very hard as you can imagine, having anxiety and depression and trying to lose weight at the same time. It's like, almost virtually feels like it's impossible. So I'm under quite a lot of stress. Even still, I did go ahead and have the CBT, I done cognitive behavioral therapy and it helped a lot. It just helped me like think my way out of my thoughts in a way. So yeah, I did that, I did a course that six weeks, I think it was. I also done 12 weeks of weight management as well, which also helped me like relearn things about diet and stuff like even though I have knowledge about that already it was good to like have an external source tell me what to do so yeah if you are from the UK I do recommend the CBT or the weight management program if you're struggling with your weight loss or if you're struggling with anxiety or depression there's like a, a website called IAPT like I-A-P-T where you can just refer yourself my doctor actually told me to refer myself that way because I did go to my doctors about it first and that's what he, suge he suggested for me. And then once they clarify like what's actually wrong with you, they give you a designated therapist that phones you or you can have face-to-face -face video calls on the laptop as well or your phone. So I have been tr really trying hard in the past two, three months to get my act together. And that's why I've been missing on YouTube as well. Because I've been trying to take care of myself, just trying to go to the gym, develop a daily routine literally got to the point where I had to develop a daily routine just so that I can feel some sort of normality. So I was still doing my hair and recording as well, just I, have, I haven't had time or the energy to edit. So yeah, I got a lot of content backed up but I just need to find the time to edit because I am 
starting to go to the gym three or four times a week so yeah I mean there's 24 hours in a day just like what's her name Molly Mae said there's 24 hours in a day it's up to you what you do with it blah 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 <laughs> She's a bitch. But anyways um yeah I feel like I don't have enough hours in a day to do what I need to do I just feel like time just runs fast and before you know it I'm staying up late and starting off the next day wrong because I haven't had enough sleep so yeah I'm just trying to manage my time a bit better just trying to get myself together so with the hair loss I can't really trace it down to any products I used around that time to say whether it was a product that made my hair fall out looking back on my videos it was after I did the semi-permanent hair dye that I realized my hair was getting a bit looking a bit thinner I would say I noticed in one video where I used the Maui shampoo that was probably the only product that didn't respond well in my hair and actually made my hair feel like really bad it was a Maui moisture shampoo the little blue one that I tried never using that again I'm actually gonna throw that away I don't really use the same products over and over again to isolate a product that made my hair fall out so I do believe that it's something internally something happening internally because it's not breakage it's not falling off mid shaft or the ends it's falling out from the roots so it's long hairs, like I even tried to um, start collecting the hairs to make my own taping. So I was just that worried about my hair loss. But um, I think over time I kind of like, I just came to terms with it. Every week it was coming out, less and less, but at the same time I was like monitoring how much hair is coming out, how much hair is coming out. And it's only been about a month where this small amount of hair is coming out. So something's changed within myself. <laughs> I mean, if I lose any more hair now, I'm not going to be left with any hair. Yeah, something's changed and I think it is my mood that has changed because I'm a bit more brighter, a bit more happier in these past few months. Not a few months, probably been about a few weeks, but it feels like, it feels good. I feel good. I feel happier. So yeah, I also had, I mean, I don't really believe this, but a lot of people do say that COVID makes their hair fall out as well. So I did have COVID about three months ago as well. So maybe that could be a reason why i lost my hair i don't know um i feel like with, when you get the flu or covid anyway it puts stress on your body so regardless of what illness that made your hair fall out it's due to a stress on your body so i'm already going through anxiety depression weight loss that's all stresses on my body and then i have covid on top of that maybe that's why because i researched on the internet that um, when you're having hair loss look back three months ago to see what's changed in your hair care routine or what's changed in your diet or your life and go from there basically so that's what i did and throughout those three months i had covid i wasn't taking care of my hair like i was supposed to be as in like with my oils i stopped using oil on my scalp and i stopped using oil on my strands um every wash day because sometimes i like to try a product without an oil so i'll stop doing that now i'm used to using oils in my wash days every week so i'm going to be trying every product from now with my oil because that's part of my hair care routine so yeah covid then the hair oils i did start pre pooing my hair around that time but i mean the only thing i'll say about that is to pre poo in the shower rather than like sitting down here i mean like when i do wash my hair or i pre poo my hair before i wash my hair i'm not sitting here in my room spraying my hair water i'll be doing it in the shower apart from if i'm sitting down doing a video what else have changed i wrote some stuff down because i know exactly how i am i will forget everything i could put it down to like taking my vitamins every day as well i haven't been strict with that either so that could be another reason why but the only time that I lost hair previously was when I had my, my first born and I was going through anxiety and depression at that time too. So I do feel like it's a post postnatal depression. Because my therapist did actually ask me if I was depressed with my first born as well. And I was. So I don't know if it was a hormonal imbalance or something like that where it, it's just something that happens to me when I have children. So that's kind of scaring me to go for another one. <laughs> But um, yeah, it took me at least three years to get out of that depression as well. It's gone past the three year mark now. Um, so yeah, I do feel like it's time to just crawl out of this hole that I've given myself. <laughs> but yeah, as I said, when the hair was coming out, when I saw the clumps, I was worried and I was kind of like, not panicking, but I was like, 
what what is this kind of thing like what's going on i was wondering for months whether my hair was falling out or not and it was only until i looked back to my old videos and realized I, and realizing that oh it's a bit thicker there what's going on <laughs> And then it was also when I saw someone on TikTok or was it Instagram? And they showed how much hair comes out of their hair when they disangle. And the girl just literally, like, she scratched up her hair like this. And she was like, this much? <laughs> I was like, what? Like, <laughs> so that's when it kind of like dawned on me like, Sarah, your hair's excessively falling out. You need to fix that. <laughs> so when I actually did realize, I wasn't like, panicking or worried or sad but I didn't cry or anything like that it was just okay well that's happening now what's next what what should I do next so that's why with my latest straightening routine I did just do a straight cut because it's not thick anymore so I don't need to put layers in it <laughs> so I did one straight cut and I will be doing that every three months or probably even more because I just want the thickness to grow out now I'm not gonna be doing a big chop unless it's absolutely necessary. But yeah, the thickness, it's not too thin. As I said, I had a lot of hair on my head. Even before I started this channel, I was already losing hair at that point because I just had my son. My son was one year old, so I already had postpartum hair loss at that point. So, <laughs> my hair was really, really thick to the point where it was really hard for me to detangle my hair. Today I detangled my hair and it was a breeze, it was like, maybe that's a pro at the moment like pros and cons maybe that's a pro that i don't have to detangle my hair for days but yeah i'd rather have my fullness back like tomorrow <laughs> but yeah as you can see like i've got little hairs here i got them everywhere and i'll say the back part of my hair also broke that's kind of like what triggered me or what inspired me to do like a protective style to keep my back hair from getting rubbed up on like it's always in scrunchies it's always wrapped up it's always like being flipped over and like when i wear high buns i pull it up in a hair tie so yeah no so i got the breakage as well as the hair fall so the name for my hair is shorter than the rest of my hair at the moment that's happened to me before like when my nape has completely broken off and i've grown it out what i did was i trim my nape separately to the rest of my hair and that's how I was able to grow my nape back out but I didn't do it this time it's not that bad <laughs> so yeah I'm just gonna let my hair grow continue to take care of it how I've been taking care of it but putting back my oil into my regime and that's putting oil on my scalp two days before wash day and putting the oil on my strands on wash day so yeah I think that's all I have to say about my hair loss it's not too worrying and I'm not worried or concerned even though like I make natural hair content for YouTube but if I have the big chop it's all part of the journey you know what I mean like it's all part of the journey I couldn't help my hair loss I wasn't even interested in doing my hair but I still did it for content and I am thankful I have the channel because I was doing my hair and back when I had my firstborn I wasn't doing my hair I would just straighten it and just leave it like that for like six weeks probably more so yeah that's what's been happening guys but i'm back and i'm happier and i'm going to the gym and taking care of myself trying to eat more healthily cutting out the sugars and all that stuff once i get like into a proper routine and i see weight loss coming off i might just start making weight loss content as well we'll see how that goes might actually motivate me to get my ass to the gym every day <laughs> but um yeah that's all this was supposed to be a really, really short video and turn into about 20 minutes I've been talking for. Okay. So I think I'm due for a trim next month and I will be doing it on blow dried hair because I don't straighten my hair in the summer because there's no point. There's literally no point. It won't even last a day. So yeah, if you want to see that video, go ahead and subscribe to my channel or if you are already subscribed to my channel, make sure you click that notification bell on so you'll be the first one to see when my videos come out. But yeah guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.